is uh, King Street, and you can see over here King Street, and it's now 7.07am, uh, 7 7 and uh, in previous years we had people all the way back here, but look, this year it's a, um, it's a more expensive iPhone, and there may be people waiting for the iPhone um, R, that's 10R that's coming in October, it's also only seven, so we'll see you know, what it's like, how many more people come, and as I'm coming down towards George Street, we can see on the left-hand side there, the Louis Vuitton store, on the right-hand side we can see the, um, some of the security guards, and in, just in the distance there we can see the, the line has started, there is a line, <clears throat> it's just not going back all the way down the street as we've seen in years gone by, there's a camera guy of some sort, there's a security guy, hello, hello, and um, yeah. So let's keep going. I can see there's nobody watching yet, but there will be. Good morning. Hi, I'm good. Good filming already. Good to see you too. Yeah, good to see you. Mm -hmm. I'll be. Uh, so we can see the the line is here. Yeah. And of course, this year we don't have we don't have all the construction that we had in last year from the uh, the, the, the the train. But we do have people in the line. We have people who are being a bit rude, but that's. Yeah normal for, for Sydney that's still people being rude and uh, American of Americans here are some people hello I was streaming live don't, well, hi hi don't have anybody watching yet but they will watch later on um, okay cool cool right right yes yes and um uh, have you got any of the cases here that we can see? Now let's have a look. I'm sorry, we failed. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, we, can, we failed. We can do it again. <laughs> Very cool. Sure, sure. And um, uh, how strong is the magnet? Uh, pretty damn strong. We've got mount, and so my, the question I always have with magnets is what happens to the uh, credit card strip on the back of okay. magnets? Okay, yeah. And what was it like last night? Cold, cold. There's a lot of drunk people. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? That's not very nice. That's not very nice. So, which phones are you guys buying today? All of them. Right. Yes. One each. Gold. Yeah. And five twelve gig version. Sorry. Five twelve gig, the biggest one. No, no, the small one. Sixty four. Yeah, you use the clouds. Well, I know that's true, but it's just so convenient to have. It's just so convenient to have that extra space and. It's a, but yes, it's still when you're buying two of them. It's expensive. Okay. iPhone 10 Max. Here we go. It's <laughs> Come on. Very cool. Very cool. Well, let me. Uh, Carl, come back a bit later on. But this, this is all good. Hello. Hi. Are you buying a phone today? The watch. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, are you getting it with the Jeep with LTE, the 4G? Yeah. yeah. And what color are you going to get? Okay. Very cool. Right, right, yeah. Okay, very cool. And um, uh, what iPhone do you have? Okay, yeah, well, that's still perfectly good. And um, yeah, well, I'm looking forward to the watch too. I want to see the bigger screen and all the cool new... Yeah, 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 the bigger one. I want to, I want to hear how much louder the, the uh, speaker is. All right, well, thank you. And uh, you guys are front of the queue. <laughs> yeah, no worries. And so, which phones are you guys getting? Yeah, the which size? The 256, the 512, the 64 gig. Yeah, and what about you? Yeah, 64 gig. Yep, yep. And um, uh, the the line doesn't seem to be as long this year. Yeah, but I I wonder if people are some of them are waiting for the iPhone 10R. Yeah, but I mean, last year it was the other way around. Everyone was getting the waiting for the for the ten. So I got the ten here, and this is the eight plus. So was it? I'm not saying it was a cold night. Were you guys here since last seven p.m. last night? Yeah. What was it like to sleep? I, every every year I think I should do it, but I'm I've never come out to the to wait. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. And and how did you feel when you were here first? You must have thought, yes! <laughs> have, you, have you been interviewed a lot this morning? Not yet. Well, I'm sure it'll happen between now and, and 8 o'clock when it launches. There'll be TV crews, there'll be all sorts of things. 
uh, because that's what happens every year. And have, have you guys ever been here before when they've had a, a launch in the morning? First time you ever been here? Yeah. Well, the Apple crew, they um, get very excited and they're cheering and they're clapping and they really hype themselves up. So you've got to see it. It's You can't miss this. Um, you'll see them up, up there and it, it, uh, you'll be front stage. And when you walk in, they'll be cheering for you and clapping. So it's... Um, and, and your pictures will be in the paper tomorrow holding the first iPhone, which is um, exciting. You'll be, there'll be pictures of you too, I'm sure. Well, you're already on the live stream. Uh, well, I'm just going to wander around and I'll be back. Good luck. Hey, hey. I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm streaming live, yeah. This one is um, it's just a device that allows you to have two cameras at the same time, Fantastic. obviously. And so this one is live streaming to YouTube. And I've got three people who say they're watching. And hello, people that are watching. And over here, this is uh, recording straight to just the internal camera so they can upload it later on. I mean, with this one, this year I have unlimited uh, downloads, you know, on Vodafone and Telstra. And so... Um, Last year I streamed for a bit, but I was wondering how much how much bandwidth is this chewing. This year I don't care. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, but but I noticed last year that as it got closer and closer to eight o'clock, the stream was getting um, fuzzier yeah. as there were more people, and so I thought, well, in case it does get fuzzy, I want to have the, the full quality copy. Backup, yeah. And I was very pleased to see this uh, double contraption was about six bucks from AliExpress, so I bought two. And uh, what I can do is I can turn this camera around. And then if I'm interviewing somebody, I can have two angles because I can use a third app uh, on, another, on the third phone to, to, to switch. So I can have like a TV studio and I'm trying to do it as easily as possible because um, I don't have the time or money to have, um, you know, crew and all the rest. So I'm going to, yeah, well, I'm going to quickly wander around. Then I'm going to come back here and please, set myself here. Too, yeah. And, uh, about here. Yes. Okay, great. Well, for those watching on the live stream, you can see some of the Apple people already up top there and within about... 40 minutes, there will be raucous cheering, which is um, always amazing to see. So let's just wander around a little bit more. Inside we can see the new library inside the store. There's all the new Apple Apple Watch library and the new uh, the iPhone library. And you know, So the store has been upgraded. And on this side, this would be people who have done pre-orders. So they've been pre-ordering. And uh, so this line will presumably grow, but pre-orders. And on the other side, is people who have uh, been in line. So let's go and see if there's any kind of a longer line. And you can see lots of people who are taking selfies, lots of photographers. I mean, that's what happens at an Apple store launch. There's the Telstra store on the other side. This over here is actually meant to be, in front of us here is meant to be our light rail system, but it's, as with most government projects, it is uh, out of date. Have a look back here. So the line has grown a little bit, but we we're yet to see whether it's going to go all the way down there. But I'm probably not going to have heaps of opportunity to come back. Well, I might. Um, just depends. Normally, it gets quite busy. It's Apple Store staff trying to do queue management. And again, we have uh, the phone guys there doing selfies. They're doing a Facebook Live to the guys in London who are in the London queue. Right, excellent. Well, that, that, that makes sense. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's all right. This is just so people can see this is one of the other camera guys. So, hi guys, I can see that there's um, a gentleman called, uh, oh yeah, hi, hi, sorry, I'm talking to somebody in my live chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're hey, in the... Hello, they're... London. Hello, London, <laughs> hello. I'm uh, filming your friends here in in Australia, and I'm streaming this to to YouTube. So there we go, I'm just zoomed in so we can, so we can have a look. So actually from London. Australia. Okay. And he's in London. Right. And Will's in Hong Kong. Will's in Hong Kong. Right. 
Uh, okay, well, but I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. What was that? <laughs> Are you tired? <laughs> so uh, just to respond to the gentleman called uh, White Dog, uh, I, I'm going to be uh, reviewing some iPhones later on and um, not getting anything today because I've got lots of things to do today. Uh, but I am here to film, because which I love to do that every year. And uh, people love it. Now look, up top there, we can, we can hear some of the cheering and excitement, which Apple stores are absolutely famous for. And it's only going to intensify over the next 40 minutes. Let's see police in the background. One of the most exciting Apple days of the year. And you really can hear all of the excitement up top there. <coughs> but there's another 40 minutes to go. <laughs> because uh, it doesn't open till 8 a.m. Australia time. Let's go talk to some more people in the queue because we don't have much else to do in the meantime. Do you wanna, can you, can Hi guys, you, can you, wanna say hello to YouTube? What what phones are you gonna get today? Um, I'm gonna get the um, mm -hmm. um, Yeah, and which capacity? Uh, 256, yeah, and what about you? Okay, very cool, and what color? Silver, yep, yeah. okay. Well, look, judging by the smaller key this year, it looks like you'll be able to get whichever one you want, which is good. I mean, you know, you'll be able to. Okay, thank you. And do you guys want to say hello to YouTube? No, no worries. Anybody else want to say hello? No, we've got some people who are shy. But that's okay. These are our boys in blue, keeping us all safe. The line is growing. There are more people. We still haven't gone back to that uh, second area of um, walkway, but uh, the morning is still young. So up top there is the uh, Apple people preparing to go nuts. We'll see a lot more of that later on. Weren't you on the other side last year? No? Yeah. Depends on how I feel. Okay. <coughs> so are you in the are you the first person on this side of the queue? And, and weren't you on weren't you number one in the queue last year? Don't, aren't you the guy that was holding up the iPhone? Yeah, yeah, but I mean like number one on that side, you gotta take the on this side, yeah, Well that's right. Well there's nothing wrong. I mean look, you pre-ordered this year. So which one are you getting? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when did you uh, pre-order? Like just the 5:01 p.m. Yeah. Didn't get the item about that. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
But uh, judging by the fact the line is not as long as it was in previous years, do you think you might be able to just pick it up today? Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You have to come in a different time. Sure. Well, I mean, as we all remember from last year, it was the iPhone 8 and then the 10 in a month's time. This year, sort of reversed. You've got the, the, the best one first and then the more affordable one later on. Well, best from the point of view of the, the better cameras and the bigger screens and the OLED. But, I mean, at least the 10R is, um, the specs are very, I mean, they're identical effectively, which is a huge, yeah, oh, that's huge, yeah. And you're not, you're not representing somebody like some of these people? <laughs> well, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I'll leave you to it and um, chat with some other people. We've still got uh, more than half an hour before the, all the excitement. We've got a photographer here. Oh, just for, for taking photos of the media doing their job. Now 7.25, so 35 minutes to go. I'd <coughs> <laughs> 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 love to know what they're talking about in there. There's obviously some sort of presentation going on up, up there. They're all wrapped before, uh, wrapped in attention before they will start cheering again, excitedly. Hello to the nine people that are watching. Um, and Ten people that are watching. Hello, hello. Yeah, sure. and inside there we can see it says, please be advised, your voice and appearance may be recorded while you're visiting the Apple Store today by entering your Granding Apple Incorporated and its affiliates permission to use your recorded likeness in all media in perpetuity. Thank you. So there you go. And in the background, you can see what it looks like inside the Apple Store. You've already seen some of this if you've been watching before, but if not, this is what Apple Stores around the world are going to look like. from today onwards. Lots of media here, people being interviewed.
guy that's filming for his own Facebook or YouTube. Let's go check out the back of the queue. See if it's grown. It is now 7.28, so still 32 minutes before we open the doors. Sometimes time can go really fast, and other times much more slowly. Yeah. That's the one thing of photo so that people know I can do the dog. There's the last person in the queue thus far. Being briefed by Apple. Yes, hello, White Dog. I did do part of a live launch last year. I, um, I had to stop it though because I didn't have unlimited uh, 4G. But this year I have unlimited 4G. And so I don't care if I bust my limit because once I go over the limit, I am speed limited to 1.5 megabits. And, um, but last year, I mean, I had part of the launch, but then I did, I was recording it and I had it available to watch on YouTube as a, um, as a recording not live but this year I've got one phone on the left which is recording uh, just you know straight to the in cameras and the iPhone's internal memory and um, the phone on the right this one over here where you can see my hand that particular one is launching is is going live to YouTube and um, I have you know 40 or 50 gigabytes remaining uh, so it shouldn't oh, there's people cheering at the top again it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't run out I shouldn't be using that many gigabytes and I'll be live streaming the entire event, um, you know, and, and for quite a few minutes afterwards, I'm certainly going to be uh, looking at the phones, having a closer look and the watch and all of that will be captured on, um, on camera. Over there we have CNET interviewing a Korean gentleman who's first in line. And there's his American friend who was on the stream before saying that uh, he was, uh, you know, second in line, he said, he said a Korean beat me. <laughs> now, not everyone, I, I don't think I've actually come across a person yet who's getting the 512. Well, actually, I can't, I can't remember, but people have said 64, 256. So if there are any other questions out there, I'm happy to, to answer anything. As uh, I've mentioned before, we've had much longer lines in previous years. This is you know, more expensive iPhones than we've had in the past, but they're the best iPhones. <clears throat> best cameras, best processor, most memory, you know, nicest design, I would say. So, uh, but, you know, for the most expensive phone in Australia, I mean, Americans complain that their phone is a thousand dollars. Well, the iPhone 10 last year in Australian dollars was 1,829. I'm still paying that off. <laughs> I'll pay it off soon, but I uh, got it on a plan. And, uh, and this year, uh, we have phones in Australia well over 2,000. And in New Zealand, which is a country to the right of Australia, their dollar is a little weaker than ours. And their top of the line phone is about 2,800 New Zealand dollars. And once you include a case and Apple Care, you're looking at over 3,000. So, I mean, obviously, you know, if you get paid in US dollars and you can convert that into Australia or New Zealand, you'll, you'll be doing a lot better. But most of us are being paid in our local currencies. And so it's expensive. But that's life, uh, you know, the Samsung phones are also expensive. The top of the line Samsung Note 9, the 128 gig version is uh, 14.99 Australian dollars. And the 512 gig version was something like, was 17.99. They did have a special at the beginning for two weeks of the pre-ordering where you could get that for uh, the 512 gig for the price of the 128. And uh, I mean, I remember people like uh, 9 to 5 Google saying, Oh, you know, people bought the 512 gig version in, in record numbers. Well, duh, it was a special. <laughs> of course, why would you order the 128 if you have to pay 14.99 Australian or whatever the price was in the US for the um, for both models? Of course, you're going to choose the 512. But uh, Apple doesn't need to have those sort of deals. And look, these days people 
people buy online. They don't want to necessarily be in the in the queue. You know, they've got work to go to. Uh, Amazon, whatever you order it. I mean, obviously, you'll be ordering directly from Apple. And a lot of people will get it from their telcos. I mean, in years gone by, we've had lines at the front of the Apple store, uh, the Telstra store over there. And further down, uh, down here, we have... In, Telstra is a bit like AT&T, but further down there, we have Telstra, uh, Optus and Vodafone, which is like Sprint or Verizon, effectively. Or, you know, think of your local uh, telcos in your home countries. And, um, you know, there, are, there, there were lines outside of those stores, too. This year, not so much, but I'll be very fascinated to see the sort of lines we'll have for the 10R, which is more affordable. Um, but, you know, if you can get the best, you can save up for it, you should, because you cannot expand the memory on these phones, as I'm sure people watching know very well. And, uh, you know, if you're going to spend in Australia $2,399 or whatever it is for the 512, and you spend a couple of hundred less on the T56, well, there'll come a time when you're gonna regret it. You better to just, you know, go for the best if you can, even though it costs more. Ah, oh, cause it's worth more when you have to sell it. It's worth more to whoever family, whichever family member or whoever it is you're gonna give it to. And um, yes, I know the pain too. You gotta to save up. I wish I was some sort of ultra rich kid, didn't have to care. I'd be in the front queue there. I'd be right there buying 10. <laughs> But I'm not. Technology journalist. So, 7.34, six minutes since the last time check. Uh, the Apple guys are still up there getting like an hour-long pep talk briefing of some sort. You can see they're all paying attention, looking at some sort of presentation. Let me try and zoom in a bit further there on my live stream. We don't know much yet. I mean, soon they will turn around and they will be cheering and, you know, I'll be filming that. But right now they're still going through whatever their little pep talk is. Let's go and have a chat with this gentleman back here. So, which Apple Watch do you have at the moment? I have the Series 3. Series 3? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, um, no, that's okay. And have you been, um, uh, so you're getting the 4G version this time, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm getting the uh, Series 4. Series 4, but with, with the built-in SIM card. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, because I mean the GPS one that you had from last year didn't have it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I found that to be very helpful. Sometimes I've gone, um, you know, left the house, gone outside to do so, hang the washing or whatever, and suddenly my watch is ringing because I've got the Series 3 uh, LTE. And uh, it's like very handy. So if you haven't experienced that yet, you'll, you'll love it. Do you use Siri a lot? Yeah. And so what sort of questions are you asking or, or, or things are you you're doing reminders or... Making calls? Because, I mean, obviously you can still make calls with the GPS version when you're... Yep, well, there's lots of cool things you can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in, in, in wheelchairs, yeah, yeah. Sure. And so, have you tracked any uh, workouts on the wheelchair? Yeah. And have you noticed your um, endurance or health getting better because of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And have you been successful at that? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Paul. Right. Four times. Right. Impressive. And um, do you ever change bands or do you just keep to the same band? Yep, yeah. 
I think the new one. Yeah. Well, you'll be certainly getting a new band today in the new watch. Yeah. Which uh, and so, what will you do with your old one? Keep it, sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a good to have a spare. But yes, I mean, also, you got to. I guess you got to always sell it as well, and then maybe put it towards a. I don't know, new phone or bands or some other upgrade or something. But, yeah. So have you had it for the entire year, the the series three? No, I've only had it for about six, seven months. Okay. And so what was so besides the. Um, uh, the, the, the health benefits for people in wheelchairs, was there any other reasons that you really wanted it or was, I mean, you know, obviously it links in with the, I mean, have you, have you used the digital crown, for example, to change the volume on, on radio that you're listening to? No. Yeah, well, you know, if you listen, do you listen to, yeah. 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 Sure, sure. So was there any other reason besides the health that you, you said, yes, I really, I've just got to get it? You know, you, did you see other people using it? What, what was the tipping point besides the, um, the wheelchair health access? I think the biggest thing was the accessibility room. Are you really struggling to get on the robots? Yeah. Well, that's true, that's true, that's true, yeah, absolutely. Well, we've got uh, 21 minutes to go. So... <laughs> yeah. So where are you going to get the hot chocolate from? Ah, oh, are they going to hold your place in line for you or what? Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, you've got 21 minutes. <laughs> Enjoy. Let's see what some of the other people here are doing. Go and look around the end of the queue and see if there's see if there's a longer line at the end. Oh, Apple people are talking to everybody, which you would expect. we have a look here the line has grown there are more people we're still not at that uh, other section denoted by the orange barriers but the line definitely has grown we had this gentleman looks a bit like Jesus with the long hair he was last in line but now there are more so people who are coming to queue would in theory be very happy this year because they will be able to in theory get whatever they want but I guess it all depends on what stock levels Apple has I mean they may not have huge stocks on day one because they have to supply so many countries, so many stores, so many Apple stores, so many phone stores. But still, a flagship Apple store is generally expected to have... Yep, no worries mate. Yeah, you expect the flagship store is going to have some stock. I did ask the car to go back here. But I would still imagine these things are going to be in short supply because well, that's just what happens every year. Now, cheering upstairs has stopped, but they are looking at something up there. Still want to know. Oh, we have applause. Just extend my tripod upwards. That way I can have a closer look. Someone's being let in. Doors are open. Not for the public. Not yet. Putting my tripod down again. 7.42, 18 minutes to go. Oh. Wow. 
So, not much to say at the moment. We're still waiting. We're upstairs and we have last minute cleaning happening down here. Photographers taking photos, everyone getting ready. Ready, ready, ready. I think the photographer was taking a photo of me. Still more cheering up there. Some staff downstairs getting ready. Internal photographers. Last minute cleaners. Everything's gotta be perfect. Usually, yeah, but I mean, they'll probably open both. And then once they're in, normally what happens is that they come out cheering and all the photographers want to take a photo of the guys with the phones. But uh, I, I, they'll probably open both sides. I mean, that side for the those people waiting and that side for the ones who pre-ordered. And... But yes, the cheering up there will get intense very soon. I'll be clapping and cheering. And it's been happening all morning, but... Uh, yeah. It's no, about, it's about to... Done done okay, well, then you know, you know, yeah. yeah I'm just, I haven't had two doors open in the past. I haven't uh, had one. No, I think they have, but maybe they open this one, you know, they open them. I mean, obviously, they, have, they need to have crowd control. Yeah. Even though the crowd is... Well, it's... With the more expensive phones, I mean, your phone is uh, pretty good, you know. You, you need to upgrade it straight away on launch day. Well, it's very recently. I had a 4S. Yeah. I'm really satisfied with that, Stop charging properly. Yeah. That's the only reason I replaced Well, look, you could have you could have uh, got an extra battery and would have done it, you know, lasted longer. However, you wouldn't have been able to run a lot of the newer stacks. You would have been had to have been satisfied. Well, it depends. It depends. It depends. I mean, I mean, so like certain apps. The youth of today, need everything. Yes. Things. But it depends. You might have certain apps for home security systems, for example, or for other things that. At some point, we'll require a, a new version that won't work with the old one. I'm unlikely to be that. Yes. Well, that's right. Well, look, horses for courses. Horses for courses. I have a friend who is, uh, he had an iPhone uh, 5 and it was uh, stolen from his shop and he went back to a 4S. He just recently got an iPhone SE from Kogan, refurbished. Um, it was C class, so it had, and it said on the documentation, it said scratches all over it. When I had a look at it, it had some scratches on the top corners. That was it. And once you put a case in there, was, so he he got that for Australian two hundred and sixty nine dollars, which is um, female, which is cheap. Female Asian fashion blogger, you won't want the scratches on them. You need your phone to be perfect. Well, once, once you put a case on there, no one, nobody, you can't see that. <laughs> it looks brand new, and refurbished. All the internals are perfect. There's no cracks on the screen. I helped my uh, uh, doc, my doctor buy an iPhone 6s Plus for his wife, one hundred and twenty eight gig, um, and uh, you know it was five hundred and ninety nine dollars, something like that. Uh, a B quality, so it'll have tiny scratches on it, and she's going to put it into a case. Some people so, can't tolerate that. Though. No, some people can't. Some people can't. But I, I'm I'm the sort of person who, who will buy screen protectors in cases on day one, so it never gets damaged. I mean, I don't yeah. want it to get damaged. And um, I've got a bit of that. Yeah. I don't, know what, I don't even know what this is. Is this a seven? That well, it, that could be a, a six, seven, or an eight. I'd have to look at the model number. But that is, um, yeah. I mean, if you, I've got an eight over here, and you can see that the eight is the same. The same and I would there's a crack there in the front but that crack that crack in the front there is uh, the projective glass that, that has um, it's not a crack on the screen and um, but I always find that the tragedy glass averted. screens hmm? tragedy averted tragedy of averted. averted yes 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 well the thing is the glass protective screens will break whereas the plastic protective screens will get scratched and the glass ones can can get scratched as well but the glass ones if they break well yes it hasn't broken your actual screen but I kind of prefer the plastic ones because it's annoying to have to, you know, inevitably the glass ones seem to break. But that's what that's what they're meant to do, but mm, the plastic ones don't break. I've dropped this a few times. Yes. Yeah. So I now have 18 people watching. Hello, that you're watching from Sydney, Australia. It is now 7.47 a.m. We have 13 minutes to go before the launch. I will walk down. The, the queue is smaller than uh, in years gone by. Uh, that side of the queue down there is for people who have pre-ordered the iPhone but on my right hand side here these are people who have come to um, buy the iPhone <laughs> off the street and so 
we can um, walk down. Now, I've already spoken to a number of people, but I can talk to them again because we have some new viewers. I've got 18 people watching. I mean, in theory, there'll be more people who will be watching this later on. Uh, and the queue goes around the corner. This is, uh, that street there is known as, oops, sorry, that's known as George Street. This is the George Street Apple Store. Down here is King Street. And King Street is where we have uh, the queue going around the corner uh, every year. And, um, you know, normally the queue goes all the way down the street and, and beyond and we can see that you know you have the orange uh, bollards and the protective things in place now for the first time I have seen the queue extend to this section now in years gone by it's gone all the way down the street even maybe around the corner and uh, here we go uh, someone's telling me they have to wait another week and that it's nearly midnight over there yes Apple does um, have to so just quickly hey hi hi I'm talking to YouTube yeah. yeah, yeah, what happened? What happened? Oh, Sleep in. Ah, oh, well. Well, as, a, as it's got a shorter queue, in theory, you should. I mean, did, did they say you could have the iPhone you wanted? I don't know. I'm too far back. Ah, what about this gentleman here? Ah, oh, okay, photographer, photographer, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, hello, hello. Good to see you. Yeah, well, I remember you from last year. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look, let's just hope that uh, because it's a shorter queue, that, uh, that there'll be. Uh, more than enough iPhones. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, 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 keep going, keep going. Yeah. So, um, yes. So, which iPhone did you want to get? Yeah, uh, in 512? 256, yeah. Look, it is and it isn't. I mean, you'll, you'll feel your 256 and you'll go, damn, why didn't I spend the extra two or 300? Yeah. Well, I do a lot of videos, so I end up filling my phones very quickly, but, but yes. But look, at least this year you have the choice. Uh, of a bigger size if you wanted it. Uh, well, I don't know. I, w I would imagine so. I, you know, yeah. I mean, presumably that's um, going to be globally a popular model. But yes, look, 64, 256. And, and um, so what about the 10s or the 10R? Well, once you have the max, you've got the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. No. Well, it, it is new. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get head back to the front. So, okay. So, it's uh, 7:50. Ten minutes to go. So let's go back to the front and uh, capture all the excitement of the last ten minutes. But yes, Apple does have to stagger its launches. I mean, I remember when you know they they could, there was just the US. That was it. And then the next year we had US, Australia, Canada, I think. And now now they're doing dozens of countries in the one go. At, at the same time and stocking all of these different stores. I mean, Apple's uh, ability to um, manage all of the stock is insane, just totally insane. So here we go, here come, here come all of the stuff and here, here's, here's the cheering stuff. So here we go, here comes some of the excitement. And so we can see inside here, lots of people in the front getting ready and waiting and up there we have we have lots of people waving at them they're all they're waving back hello everyone yeah, all the cool apple people there I'm live streaming. I'm not sure quite what you asked me there, but I'm live streaming. So this is one of the first Apple launches in the world because of the time zones. So this footage will be used all over the world.
seven minutes. Doing Mexican waves. Uh, no, I'd probably get the iPhone. I'd get the iPhone XS Max or over the iPad if I had to get one because. Look, it's a phone. It's with you all the time. I mean, obviously, if you can, you'd want to get both because then you have the iPad, you have the iPhone. I mean, someone's just asking me there what I would get. But I would be getting the 10s Max in 512 gig. So it is 7.54, six minutes to go. And uh, the famous Apple cheering is in full swing. my body too. Well you pushed it. Well I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. We're all here together. I'm not when you annoy me. Yeah, somebody was unhappy that I bumped them. But this happens. Maybe they're just grumpy that it's uh, early morning. Oh yeah, the live stream will be, uh, I've got two versions of this uh, stream. I've got the live stream and that'll go, that'll be available for anybody to watch. And I also have a second version which I'm just recording uh, on my iPhone that I'll put up separately. So I'll have two copies of this stuff. People will be able to watch again and again if they wish. Okay, it's 7.57, three minutes to go.
Uh, for the live stream, I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus, and for the uh, the, the regular recording that I, I'm yet to upload, I'm using an iPhone 10. So iPhone 8 Plus. You're an expert. You know that. Bruce, Bruce, remember. So on the left is the people who pre-ordered, and on the right over here are the people who have uh, been waiting. Some of them have been waiting all night, some have just arrived this morning. The queue is going around the corner, not as long as in previous years, but it has grown and grown all the morning. In the moment of truth, it will be counting down very soon, 7.58. Uh, well, I would say my least favorite iPhone currently would be the 8 because the 8 Plus has a bigger screen than the 10. But of the new ones, I mean, well, probably I would say the least favorite would be the 10S, the 10S Max, and the, the 10R would be my two favorites with the Max, the most favorite of all, uh, because of the fact that it's the biggest and the best. And, you know, the thing that's annoyed me about the, the 10 is that it's been a little bit too narrow compared to the 8 Plus. But I'm going to be loving the bigger screen of the of the um, 10s Max when I manage to get my hands on it soon. Not today, but soon. Here we go. 7:59. It's the last minute of the launch. Hello to the 25 people watching from all over the world. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. That's other people in. Okay, now we can go in. Sweet, wonderful. So this is our chance to have a look at the phones for the first time. And uh, we've got more photographs of the, of the gentlemen over here who are very pleased to be iPhone and Apple Watch owners and lots of media scrums. I'm just going to now show you the actual devices themselves. This is what we want to see. So let me bring my tripod down here and um, show you the new phone. So just give me a sec here, guys. So here we go. This, let me see if I can just move my other camera along a little bit. So that is the 10S, which is very similar to the, uh, to the 10. But that is the 10S Max. So I've got two, I've got two um, cameras going here at the same time. We can see the difference. And 
you can certainly see the notch, but beautiful. I'm very pleased to finally get my hands onto one of the 10 S Maxes just to see what it's like. This, uh, it must be the, well, it looks like it's the gold one. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the lighting is, but look, look how bright and sharp the screen is. Now, let us see if the whole thing will spin around. Let me just um, pull this down. Now, I know with the 10, with the 8 Plus, the screen would turn, but this doesn't appear to be uh, James, turning not... around. So we're going we're gonna to find out, I guess, uh, whether that's possible. Let me actually see if there's a way of um, changing the, the screen. Ah, oh, yes, hello, yeah. Well, I'm just looking to see whether or not, see, on the, on the iPhone um, uh, 8 Plus, you can actually turn the screen around, but on this one, you can't. You couldn't do it on the, on the 10 either. But I'm just wondering if there's something in the display that lets you do that. But that's the difference between the two sizes. I mean, you can see that the, the, the 10S looks very similar in size, well, it's the same size as the 10, but the, but the Max, I mean, this is the one people have been waiting for because it has the screen going right to the edge, 6.5. And if you have a quick look here, I mean, the people on my screen can't see it, but you can see how much bigger the screen is compared to the 8 Plus. You get, a, you know, that's the 5.5 inch screen. Here you've got the 6.5 inch screen. So look, I mean, it's, it's the newest iPhone and it's exciting. So um, first time I'm getting my hands on it, just playing with it and trying it all out. But yeah, thank you. So there we go. So I'm trying to see here whether or not I can go to the display and um, have some sort of a, uh, uh, you know, rotate. But I'm not sure. I'll have, to, I'll have to check with Apple people later on. But if you can't, you can't. You certainly can, um, obviously, when you're inside of, you know, the, uh, the actual apps, you can turn it around. But um, that's the new gold color. And let's see if we can take a photograph. Let's uh, go to the camera and turn it around. That's me, if you have any, if you've been wondering. Very nice. So those are the new phones. Let's put this one back here. Let's put this one back over here. And let's see if we can have a look at um, the new Apple Watch. Because that is also going to be one of the exciting things on display here today. So. Here are some of the new watches. Now I'm going to have to see if I can get my hands on one. But over here we can see the uh, the screen goes right. I've got two different ones. I'm trying to get it right for both. But the screen is going right to the edges there, which is um, obviously one of the things that the new Apple Watch can do. Uh, I'll be doing a review of the phones. Yeah, yeah. I, I expect to be doing a review of the phones. Um, so yeah, I, I will certainly have more information on that. Uh, later in uh, later next week right now though there are a lot of reviews out there that people are are watching are ri already writing about online and uh, I'm just going to come over here now and I can actually see some of the watches oh sorry so let's see if I can get my hands on one here and uh, try and try and uh, show you live so I've got two cameras but that is the um, watch and you can see it's going right to the edges I mean if I compare it with my with my own Series 3 Apple Watch, you can see that the, um, I'm sure I've got two cameras going here at the same time. You can see that if I go, if I push, if I go into there and I push this and I go to the grid view, well, you can already see how much bigger the icons are on the new Apple Watch over here. Much nicer. I mean, same, well, yeah, the new Apple Watch. Uh, let me see if I can go into here and change it to... So there, there's the difference between the, the two different... Um, you know, that's the, the modular display. And you can just see the difference in, in size. There's so much more information that you can actually see on the, on the new watch. Uh, with, yeah, it's great. It's the upgrade that um, people have been waiting for. I'm just going to quickly show the live stream viewers because I'm trying to capture it on two phones at the same time and just move it to my other camera over here. But um, yeah, very cool. I am excited to see the new Apple Watches too. So let me put this one down and uh, put my own watch back on. So let me just wander around the store and just uh, sort of capture people as they are enjoying their various new purchases. Let's just have a look at that. 
Give me a sec, guys, as I grab my things and um, get ready to move around. So. Oh, you can still see that Apple has, you know, got its its regular iPhone eights and other bits and pieces. We've got Home Pods, but as we walk around, uh, we can see people chatting, people being interviewed. We're using all manner of devices. There's more video of the. 10s and the 10s Max. There's some close-ups of the uh, the new in-store displays. Sorry, sorry. And uh, there are people who are ready to buy. All purchasing the latest and greatest. So the queue is now inside the store. It's gone from outside the store to inside the store. What I'll do in a moment is I'll go outside again and have a look to see what the queue is like now, now that it's opened. Let's walk down to this part of the store and we can see more people are happily trying on the watches, testing it out, buying it. It's a hive of activity here this morning at the Apple store. There's somebody using a, a Memoji, which looks extremely cool. Extremely cool. I've been trying Memoji since iOS 12. The beta versions and yes, lots of fun. So, lots of people in the store still. People filming and recording, other people doing live streams. This is the other side of the queue. Let's go outside and have a look and see what the queue is like outside. That's always a good uh, predictor of just how well demand is holding up, but it's looking good. So we can see that the, the pre-order queue is smaller, but it's the, it's the other queue of people who actually want to buy on launch day. And this queue is still right to the front door. Let's go around and have a look and see uh, what the queue looks like around the corner. It is now 10 past eight. So let's have, let's have a look. Oh, it still looks like a full queue. The queue is like regenerated. So here we go. It's going right to the end there again. So people have uh, definitely come. And I think the queue is, is back to the um, the other section again. So look, there, there, you know, people have queued up. I mean, in years gone by, they would have been here earlier. But I guess they're, they're here now. And the, you can see the queue is back to there. So it's the same length queue as... Uh, when we well it's a longer queue than when we started and um, obviously the queue has grown but I'd be very curious to know about the queues in New York or London or elsewhere and we're gonna find out over the next 24 hours we will find out because the launches happen around the world and Australia is one of the first because of the time zones I don't know if there are, if there are any official Apple stores in uh, New Zealand Although there would be telcos there that would be selling the iPhone. But uh, here we go. Go back in again. And we're still having lots of activity and happy people. So, you got your phone? Well, you're waiting. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, and as per usual, it's been a smooth process. It's been fantastic. Yeah. Well, I mean, not as cold as in the UK, right? So I mean, nearly, 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 yeah. But you had blankets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you were able to get hot coffee and, and chocolate drink. Yeah. 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 Yes. Let's have a close look. So what's the brand again? Um, mouse, M O U S. M O U S. Yeah. M -O -U -S. I mean, I like a guy called Dead Mouse. The, uh, yep. the yeah. We know him pretty well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so what? So where do you order them from? Mouse.com. M. Mouse.com. M. M -O -O yep. And what are the prices? Um, so, um, uh, yep. Australian. Yep. 
Yeah, and so you guys are an Australian company, a British company, a London. London, yeah, yeah. Okay, and so how long has your brand been in operation? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so were you part of some sort of secret uh, Apple program where they no, gave you some specs? So, no. so how did you know about this, this, the specs or did you guess from all the leaks? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, as you get closer and closer, the leaks seem to get more and more, uh, or the, the rumors get more and more stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how long ago did you hit uh, play on your, or hit go on your manufacturing process? A couple of weeks? July. July, yep. And, and, and how many would you manufacture? I mean, if this is trade secrets, don't say, but I mean, how many theoretically would you have to make? Because sort of, I mean, Apple obviously has to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which you need to sell, but um, but I mean, you know, iPhones are the most popular phone in the world. Exactly. You know, I mean, I, I as a technology journalist, I get to test various phones, yep. and I went to a store yesterday where I've known in the past I've had every case for everything, yep. Yep. and I recently got a LG G7, very nice phone. Yep. Uh, but I went there because I thought, oh, yeah, they'll have a case, and it's like, no, we don't have the case. Yeah. 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 I'm Australia. Um, I, I live here in Australia, and I, I write for itwire.com. And so, what was your question? Oh, Alex on Tech. YouTube.com/slash Alex on Tech. Very easy to remember. People, are, most people that I've got 22 people watching now. I mean, which was 22,000 or 22 million, but it's all good. And I'm very happy people are watching. But uh, easy to remember, Alex on Tech, and I write for itwire.com. So I mean, let me. I can give you my details later on. Yeah, yeah. But, um, can see the store. Uh, One second, reach yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. Let's bring this right up. So do you make anything else besides cases? We do, just about the wrong stuff as well. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Sure, okay. I mean, I, I haven't seen your brand in, you know, like in Hong Kong or no, here, no. or but it's, so it's, it's, it's in Australia for the first time and you had to... Yeah. Okay, yeah. And Optus, as you said, is the, is the place yeah. to buy them, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go to Good, yep, yeah, no worries. We're getting an unboxing here. An unboxing of the Apple Watch. So here we go. So he's getting the Apple Watch out for the first time. Just gonna zoom in on the live stream here. And there we go. He is showing off his brand new Apple Watch Series 4. And in fact, that's one thing I forgot to look at, the back of the watch, which, you know, if you've seen the, the keynote, you would have seen. Thank you for showing us. So, gentleman taking being photographed by the assembled media of which I'm one and so many people here here we go putting on the watch for the first time there we go
So let me just uh, come around here and um, see if I can show you. This is the back of, I'll just quickly show people in the live stream. That is the back of the Apple Watch. You can see that it's a very different design to the original Apple Watch on the back there. Me too, watch this. Yeah. Here we go. There's a gentleman there before we would have seen earlier in the stream with his scooter, electric scooter. Hi, oh, good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, loving the launch. That's a fancy gadget you have. Yeah, there. well, it's a it's a device that lets me have obviously two cameras at the same time, and this is a live stream to YouTube, and this one I'm just recording so I can upload it later on in case the quality of the stream. But this year I have unlimited 4G on oh. both phones. But I mean I could have done two live streams, but I thought well, one's enough. And, uh, and last year, the quality of the live stream, I could see it was um, fuzzing up. Mm. But this year, they don't seem to be showing it to me getting lower quality. So I'm hoping that it's uh, staying strong. Looks and uh, this one here, though, on the left-hand side with the iPhone XS, it's just recording. And uh, I didn't bother with 4K. I, I could have, but, you know, it just would have taken four times the amount of space and four times the amount of time to upload. Of course, and yeah. uh, I'm, I'm live streaming at 1080p, I assume. But if not, I have a 1080p on the other side. So... And I've had photographers taking photos of this particular setup. Um, Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Alex, Alex, Alex from ity.com. Oh, I'm from a I'm Aid. I'm the market director for Australia. So okay. Nice to meet you. Nice this to looks meet incredible. You too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I only phone on film on iPhones. I mean, I have filmed on Androids, and inevitably I get disappointed with some aspect, usually the audio or the lighting or whatever. And so I've been filming on iPhones for the longest time and. Uh, and this year, I knew I wanted to do the live stream because I, I mean I've got a Vodafone Unlimited and Telstra Unlimited, oh. so uh, and I'm paying for those. I was going to say so, they're expensive. Yeah, so. but it's unlimited, right? Yeah. And and the speeds, I mean, the speeds of my 4G are much faster than the speeds of my um, uh, Net connection in Canberra yeah. with, and other people's connections. I know that the Telstra store across the road over there has 200 meg up and 200 meg down on the Wi-Fi. So often, I, often I will uh, use their Wi-Fi to upload my videos after I've been in an event all day because it's open and I can just stand outside the door or inside and I can upload much faster and for free. And you can have a coffee. And I can have a coffee as well. But but it's but normally I'm in the Telstra store as opposed to the Telstra foyer over there. But um, so are you marketing for Apple in Australia? Um, I, I take care of the stores. Oh, the stores. Okay, the wonderful. Sort of stores, yeah. yeah. So you must get to go around the world and enjoy. I get to go. Do you mind if I film you a little bit, or you don't want to be a camera? No, that's okay. No, 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 that's all right. Well, that's why I'm pointing the camera away. But, uh, thank you. But, um, Sorry, just quickly, live streaming on Vodafone. Uh, just, you can tell me in a second uh, how good the quality is. No, no, I, I just take care of the retail stores, which right. is the biggest privilege yes. in my life. Yes, well, I mean, it, it must be such a pleasure to be able to serve customers in a way that other retailers can only dream about. That's for you to say, not for me to well, say. Well, but We're it's the truth, it's the truth. Best. So, well, I mean, I, I, I was at the Apple Park store in, uh, in um, California. You yes, know? The I was, visitor center. Yeah, visitor center, yeah. I, well, I, unfortunately, I wasn't invited to the WWDC. So I'd love to go one day, but I was there for a different conference. And I was so close, I was like, I've got to go. And uh, actually, I recorded some video, and I got, got to see the, um, you know, the, the virtual reality uh, display with the, the iPads looking at the Apple Park. And um, there was this great, I still have the video, I've got to publish it, but of the Apple Music display mm. that's showing, I mean, you must have a full screen LCD TV and then the cutout for the musical note. That's it right. looks very, very it cool. Looks stunning. Yeah, very have cool. Have you seen upstairs yet? No. So what's up there? I mean, I know what's upstairs. I mean, I've been up to this store many times, but. Well, we've, we've obviously got the music panels. Yeah. We've got our new accessories and also uh, we've got our new feature bays with okay. all the accessories. Right. Maybe I don't know. Maybe later on, just have a little look up. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. I might have to come back, but I mean, that will be the, the standard now for the next year or so, I guess. Uh, for a little while. A little while, yeah, a yeah. Little while. Okay, no worries. And and are, are you, I know that they have those uh, upgraded stores overseas, the Today at Apple and the, the sort of the, um, the town square sort of thing. And I know that you've got a flagship store coming to Melbourne. 
But do you know if, if this store will be upgraded, the Sydney store? Or I don't, you probably can't say, but... Watch this space. Watch this space, yeah, okay. I, not, I, yeah. Can't, I can't say, you know, um, we do have a new design store, store in Melbourne, in Shatston. Yep, I've, and I've been, I've, I was at the launch of that store. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So Still got the t-shirts. Uh, <laughs> you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, that was a year ago. Well, I mean, I, I haven't seen the redesign, but I'm, I'm talking about the launch a decade ago. You know, yeah, yes. that launch, yeah, the original, the original Chadstone launch. Yeah, I've got the, I've got some T-shirts, and I mean, I wish you'd have some T-shirts for some of these Apple launches. Um, I know that uh, you have to go to the Apple stores in the States to buy the T-shirts with the multicolored logo or the Siri logo. Yes. I wish you'd sell some of them in Australia. You'd, you'd sell them. I think so too. Yeah. Watch know. this space, yes. You yes. never know one day. Yeah, absolutely. Well, wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it all. Thank you, thank you. So that was uh, the marketing man for the Apple stores retail worldwide, which is, uh, he didn't want to be on camera, but hey, very cool. So I um, let me see if I can see if there's any uh, the chatting there. If anybody wants to tell me what the stream quality is like, uh, I'm able to look at my screen again. I was deep in conversation. I guess I can look at all the chats later on. But yeah, currently streaming on Vodafone. I do have Telstra. My Telstra phone is, uh, the, is in, the Telstra SIM is in the iPhone 10, and that one is recording, uh, which I'll upload to YouTube later on, um, which will effectively be identical to this stream. But yeah. Going. Well, let's let's go and have a look at the line again because you know it is now 8:25 in the morning, 25 minutes after the doors opened, and we can see that there's still a very short queue for the pre-orders. But what about those who are coming into the store? for the first time without, here we go. Streaming quality is pretty great for me. Are you streaming on iPhone 10 or what other phone? Yeah, I'm streaming on the iPhone 8 Plus. I suppose I should have been streaming live on the iPhone 10, but uh, I'm streaming live on the iPhone 8 Plus. And um, I mean, I'm in the CBD. I'm right in the, in the, at the Apple store in the middle of town, connected directly to the, uh, you know, 4G networks. And so obviously the, you would expect that the video quality is gonna be Fantastic. I know that last year when I was on uh, streaming on Vodafone uh, that I could see as we we're getting closer and closer to the to the streaming to the you know 8, 8 a.m. time that I could see that it was um, the quality was getting crunched. Um, so look, we still have somebody way at the back there in in uh, at the end of the queue. So the queue is still as long as it as it was, which is pretty pretty great. So that's a good sign. And look, I mean, I'm not going to be here all day, unfortunately. I've got other things I've got to do, but um, 25 minutes in, the queue is as long as it was, and I presume the queue will keep on growing throughout the day as people claim their brand new iPhones and then go and show their friends at work and elsewhere. But yeah, this time last year, well, at about 10, 10 or 20 to 8 last year, I could see the quality was getting bad and I didn't have unlimited. So I, I basically, I stopped the live stream at that point because I was going to bust my limit, And I, but I was, you know, then I started up a recording of um, a non-stream which I uploaded later on and that of course is online you can go to youtube.com slash alex on tech or just do a search for iPhone launch 2017 I, I assume and you should be able to find it and you can see what last year's launch was like sorry 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 I just bumped into somebody there and emojis people having fun people buying There's that gentleman again being interviewed. So I'm two hours from Brisbane. What does it say here? No, let's see. Two hours from Sydney. Ah, yes. Just got to figure out how I can read all. Here we go. Would love to go to the launch one day. I just brought it from my local store. Yes, well, you know, going to a launch is, um, I mean, it's a commitment. You have to, you know, in normal years, uh, the queues are very long and you have to be here days in advance. Uh, it seems that some people got here last night and were able to queue up. And so this, this was a good year for being able to, to come here and be able to, you know, not have to, I mean, I only spend one night sleeping as opposed to multiple nights. Um, yes, I would get, I would absolutely get the new Apple Watch. It is a much bigger display. I mean, the display looks similar in size, it seems to be a bit larger. I'll just go and get one right now. 
and show you the difference. So this is the the new watch, and if I let me just um, quickly uh, put my camera down here. I'm just doing a live stream to YouTube. I just want to show people the difference between the the old watch and the new. So that's the that's the new 40 yeah. millimeter, and that's the new 44 millimeter. Exactly. Now we can. Now I'm just going to move it across to the modular screen, and whilst the gentleman just holds those there, this is my Series Three. Hang on, let me just put my code in. And um, so that's the Series Three. So I'll just lift it up for a second. Lift it up like that. So that's the Series Three modular, and that's the that's 42 millimeter. That's that's 44, and that's 40. So you can see so many more complications. Well, more detailed complications. And more information on, on those three. And even if it's the small one, yep. it looks the same size as the 40. Yeah, so there you go. So let's just quickly show my, my other camera here. Just uh, quickly this one as well, because I've got uh, two different recordings going. And that's the Series 3, Series 4, 40 millimeter, Series 4, 44 millimeter. So there you go. Uh, so just to answer that, that question, uh, is there much of a difference compared to how thin it is, I'm being asked? So let's have a look here. So, so this, you can see here, that is the Series 3, and that is the Series 4, 44 millimeter. It's thinner. You can see, I mean, if I if I remove the bands for a second, I'm just going to remove the, the bands. And then we can have a look to see at the, you gotta, as you know, you're going to push the little thing. So we can see the Series 3 and Series 4. So, um... Is it thinner? It is. It's thinner, yeah. So I'm being told by an Apple gentleman that it is thinner. And you can actually, you can see that you've got a um, more of a glass over here. More rounded than closed. More so. rounded, yeah, yeah. More rounded than closed. So just for those watching on my other stream over there, let's see if I can do it this way. In any case, uh, I would definitely be getting the new, the new version. I wouldn't be buying the old one. The new one is the one that you want. Absolutely. So there you go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And you can also even see on the back the upgrade ceramic to the sensor and yes, yeah, cer ceramic as well and sapphire. So a beautiful, a beautiful upgrade. Just to, for, for my other camera there. Sorry, people watching this stream. There we go. So I'm going to put this one down. So thank you very much for letting me uh, check that out. So now I'm not going to put the bands back on my own watch. So are you expecting uh, crowds all day? Constant crowds? It is. Uh, a lot of orders was online. Yeah, a lot of orders That's online. Yeah. Of, and uh, here are people that uh, they purchased, but they decided to come here to have the experience in an Apple store. Yes. Some people they, they come they just a little bit of house. Yeah, yeah. Who is here is who, is who uh, choose to be to here, be here, yeah. To talk to us. Yeah, so. absolutely. And which language which language do you normally speak? Portuguese. Portuguese. Ah, so have you had any Portuguese uh, interaction so interaction right, today? No, no. no, but but you do. It the must day, happen. The day is just starting. Yeah, yeah. But happens a lot. A, a lot, yeah. A lot. Okay. Portuguese and Spanish. No worries. Gracias, señor, yeah. as they would say <laughs> in Spanish at least. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That gentleman again, who is one of the first buyers, or the one of the first. Uh, I don't have two streams. I didn't really mean to say two streams. What I meant to say is I have one stream going live, and then I have a second camera that is recording, because I was worried that what was going to happen was what happened last year, where the uh, I could see the stream quality on the YouTube streaming app visibly deteriorate, and um, I wanted to make sure that if that happened, I would have a second live recording going which I could upload to YouTube later on uh, and I will upload that one anyway I don't really need to but uh, I've got a two camera setup I can sort of take a photo of my two camera setup and show you I'll go to the back to the line in a second I'll just take a, a photo of the t twin camera setup so you can see what that looks like and you can understand um, how, what it looks like so one second and just so that people can see you can see here that I have um, two cameras on top of my tripod so just show my other cameras there i've got two cameras on top of the tripod this one here is the one that you're watching now and the other one is just recording on the apple uh, camera app 
So let's go back to the line. So the line for the pre-orderers, this is the line for the pre-orderers inside the store. And they're coming in to collect their pre-orders that they've already purchased. And there's one or two outsides that haven't been let in yet. But the line itself for people who are walking in, walk-ups, that, well, you can see the line is in, right, inside, right inside the store. And it's going right to the front. So I mean, the line is inside, but we've got to look at the outside line in a moment. But these are all people who are, who are still waiting to, to get their iPhones and uh, they're being asked by Apple people over here, you know, which model they want and whether or not they can get the things they want to get. But if we go outside, we can see how long the, the queue is outside. And I mean, I've done this a couple of times now this morning, post the launch, post the 8 a.m. opening, and the line has been as long, longer than when it was when I first got here at about 20 past seven, which is about an hour ago, an hour and an hour and 15 minutes ago now. So if we go around the corner, uh, this is the line, the first end of the line, and then we come to what's known as King Street, and we can see that um, the line is going around the corner. Now, when I got here this morning, the line was basically to about there, maybe, maybe there, but it was certainly, there were people here, and there was nobody over there on that part just yet. You can see that once I get through some of these people, that there are orange uh, bollards or, you know, uh, orange sections that uh, protect people in the line. And when I got here, that wasn't full. Now that has, that has had people in it at various times this morning, but um, obviously as the, move, the line moves, they, they come down to here. So if anybody else turns up, and I can see somebody right now, I'm not sure whether or not, in fact, a, a lady just joined the line right there. This gentleman is probably joining the line. So if that's the case, which it may not be, no, he's not joining the line. But, <laughs> but in any case, the line is pretty much as long as it was when I got here. And, um, you know, it's not all the way down there. I mean, in years gone by, it was all the way down there and, and around the corner. But, uh, you know, Apple is serving many, many more customers at the same time in different countries via all, of, all the different phone stores. You don't have to be at an Apple store anymore. And as the gentleman I spoke to before was explaining, a lot of people just buy it online. I mean, why wait all night in a queue, um, sleep when you could quite easily um, just order it online and have it have it ordering on, have it arrive to your home. That's the benefit of the modern world. But there are those people who want the Apple experience, and they shall not be denied, which is uh, evident and great. So I'm probably going to end the live stream relatively soon. If there's any other questions, I'm very happy for you to ask them i'll do my best to answer them but inside we are still uh, lots of sales activity people looking still media filming interviews are still happening there's some foreign media from people just use iphones on uh, on gimbals these days, I'm, I'm just using my, um, my tripod with my double camera setup. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. I'm being asked if the bezels are thinner on the SS XS Max compared to the what well, the 10S Max compared to the 10. Sorry, I, I still sometimes say. S and 10S, so let's have a look. Let's let's pop them out. And let's have a, let's have a squeeze. So we can see. And so, how do I, do I feel the big? Well, it's certainly a bigger launch from the point of view of bigger screens. Um, now, looking, let me go into, uh, for example, the notes, and we can have a look at a white screen, and uh, we can see that the bezels. The bezels appear to be identical on both the 10s and the 10s Max. I don't seem to see much of a difference there, so I'm uh, be curious to see what it's like on the on the 10R. But you know, the, the whole uh, marketing angle is that the screen goes as close to the edge as possible, except for the notch. So it would make sense that the bezels would be the same on both. Look, this is this is. I, I mean, I've seen Apple launches that were busier with more people and more excitement, but. By the same token, as I've explained, and uh, as, as you would already know, I mean, there are many more options to buy online and um, than, ever, than ever before. 
and there just isn't a, as big a, a need to come to the Apple store. But obviously, Apple would want as many people as possible. I mean, I always love the frenzy, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, the bezels are looking very, they're looking like pretty much identical to me. But look, I'd have to, I'd have to measure it, I guess, or look at the. I mean, th there will be tear downs. There will be, there will be all sorts of videos online. So these sorts of questions will be answered. Christian, this is the new beautiful gold. You can see me in the background there. Hello, hello. Thanks for checking. So yeah, no, you're welcome. That's, um, I'm really loving this bigger size. I am surprised though that we can't turn it sideways. Yeah, not not as busy, not as busy, not as busy compared to last year. Yeah, well, that's the modern world. And look, they're more expensive, and you just spend a couple of grand buying a phone or 1500. You might decide to use yours for a bit longer. But glorious, glorious. But yeah, I was expecting to see that turning around, like you can on the uh, iPhone 8 Plus or the 7 Plus or the 6 Plus. Um, I'm surprised that you can't. That's one of the things I really wanted to be able to see uh, that I missed from the other phone. I know I can do it like that on these sorts of apps. I know I can do it this way, but I really would have preferred to see it on the home screen to be able to go like that too. But, oh well, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Well guys, it's been 91 minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, unless there's any final questions, I'm going to 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 stop the stream soon. I've got, um, I've got to upload uh, the other video. I've got all sorts of work I've got to do, as, uh, as I'm sure you do as well. And uh, there'll be, I'm sure there'll be plenty more iPhone 10 launches, 10s and 10s Max, that will be live streamed around the world. I'm just moving it between my different uh, phones. I've got, I've got two phones going here. And these are the new devices. Very cool. No new IMAX, no, no new IMAX at the moment. Uh, there is a rumor that there's going to be new IMAX in October, um, and uh, there'll be another special event where they will presumably show IMAX, and presumably they will be showing uh, new Mac Mini, and um, supposedly new Max as well. So we don't know about that officially. Uh, Max is big, but Max is Max is the same size as the iPhone uh, iPhone 8 Plus. Max is the same size as the iPhone 8 Plus. So. It, you know, if you thought the iPhone 8 Plus, 7 Plus, or 6 Plus was big, then the Max is actually a tiny little bit smaller, uh, but the screen is bigger. Uh, yeah, both streams will be uploaded, yes. Uh, this, obviously, the live stream is, is being uploaded as we speak, but the iPhone, uh, the, um, the, the other stream is effectively identical because I've got both cameras side by side, as I was showing you in my, on my uh, iPhone with, the, with, the, with the, um, this image here. I have one camera over there, and I have an, and the other one. This one here is, is not being streamed live. Uh, just pull it back a little bit. That one there is the one you're watching, and so both streams are effectively identical. So I will up, I'll upload. Look, I'll, I'll upload it for sure. But uh, you've already seen everything. If you're watching this stream, you've seen everything there is to see. Uh, and the live stream usually had a slightly better camera angle because that's the one I've been focusing on. So let's do a last pan around the Apple Store. And the queue is still right around the front of the store. So look, I want to thank everybody that's taken the time to watch. The 23 people that are there, the people that have come and, and gone. Any new iPods? No, no new iPods. No, the new iPod is called uh, the, the iPhone uh, or an iPad um, or an Apple Watch. I mean, they're all still iPods. They also have the iPod capability. But yeah, no new, no new iPods yet. We are expecting new Macs in October at a special event. I mean, that has not been officially announced, but it has been rumored. I mean, you know, look, Apple has plenty of product it could be showing and launching. And we know that there'll be the Google Pixel 3 uh, on October, I think the 9th. And I think on October the 2nd, I could have the other way around, there'll be the new Surface Books uh, or Surface Pros from Microsoft. And so, you know, October will be a busy month. I mean, Samsung has also announced some sort of four times the fun um, and uh, launch on October the 11th, uh, all these are US times, and we don't know whether that's a foldable phone, we don't know whether that is a um, some sort of new phone with more cameras, or, you know, there's rumors today that the Samsung Galaxy S10 will have five cameras, but, you know, th th there's a reason why Apple's cameras are the, are the best, and that's because they are. Now, we do have Huawei P20 with three cameras, which can do incredible low-light photos, and we'll have the Mate 20 launching 
in Oct October as well in London. I'll be there for that because um, I've been invited, which I'm very lucky. And, uh, you know, I'd be very curious to see, but I do most of my filming on iPhones just because of the consistent quality and the ease of the apps and just, just many reasons. But, yeah. But, look, there's, I love to see all the competition between all of the different uh, phone you know, manufacturers because it produces better products for us, the consumers. And that's what we want. We want better products and better prices. I mean, at the moment, we see prices of technology going up. Normally, it comes down. But, you know... As the new technologies become commoditized, um, the prices come down. When something is new, OLED screens, well, they're not new, but, you know, they're new for Apple. They're a year old, and, you know, they're, they're trying to achieve very, very high standards. So, of course, these things are more expensive. But over time, they'll come down, and, you know, next year, the current models will be cheaper. You know, not everybody has to upgrade this year. Not everybody upgrades every single year because people are happy with their devices or they don't want to spend the extra money or whatever it might be. So... Oh, here we go. Any so AMR Mohammed has got question marks there. I'm not sure what he's saying, uh, but yes, both strings. So yes. Anyway, listen, guys, I've got to go. I thank you very, very much for taking the time to uh, to watch. Uh, Activity is still going very strong here at the Apple Store. Uh, there's plenty more people in the in the queue there for pre-orders. The queue for people who've purchased uh, who, who are just walk-ups is still going around the corner, around there, around to the back. So. Um, Thank you for watching and the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max and the Apple Watch Series 4 have officially launched and um, I hope you can get one or the phone of your dreams very soon. Thanks for watching.